Hey, good morning, it's Ari, and today I'm just going to make a video to show you guys what equipment I use when I record my sax and how I edit the sound in Logic. A lot of people ask this question, and I did make a video like this a long time ago, but I figured I'd just make a new one so that you guys can just have an updated version of everything that I use in one quick video. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, first piece of equipment is this MacBook Pro. I got it in the year of 2019 when I started studying at Berkeley. Um, because it is mandatory to have a MacBook. So this is my Berkeley MacBook. The second piece to my little studio is my PreSonus audio box. Also got this at Berkeley. And the cable right underneath it is just the cable that I use to plug in the audio box into the computer. The second and last piece of equipment is my Shure Beta clip-on microphone. It's a Shure 98H Beta mic. I'm going to take it out of the case so you can see what it looks like. This is what the mic looks like. Sure. Beta 98H. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up Logic and I have a template already saved with my presets on my sax so that every time I go into record, I could just open up a new document with that template and then that way I don't have to reset up everything every single time I record. But for today, see my template here is called Time to Record. But for today, I'm going to just delete that and show you from scratch how I create my sax sound to record. So first things first is I'm going to just go ahead and plug in the audio interface into the computer. So I have that plugged in and then the other end I'm going to just put into the back of the interface. Sorry, I'm working with one hand here. And you know the interface is turned on if you have those blue lights on right there in the front. The next step is I'm going to plug in my microphone into the interface. And for some reason, I always plug my mic into number two. See, there's a number one slot and a number two slot. I don't know why this is, but every single time I record, I plug my sax mic into input number two. Totally random, but it's part of what I do, so I thought I would include that fact. So once that's all plugged in, it's pretty simple. All you want to do in Logic is just create a new audio track. And I like to always name my track sax. And I like to right-click here, go to wind, and add a little auto sax like emoji thingy there and before i do anything i always like to save my file so i'm just going to save it and call it ig example okay so the first thing for effects that i do is i go over to the left column here under library sounds your instruments right here woodwinds and i click on auto sax just like that and after i do this i go down to the effects section here where it says click to insert audio effect plugin i go to silver verb stereo and i think that i have one already set for yeah i have one called auto sax so i just click on it and this is kind of what the presets look like for the output dry is set to 78 wet is set to 29 but sometimes i like to bring up dry to 90 dry is just the thing that kind of helps to keep the natural sax sound and then wet is how strong the reverb is and the last thing that I do is I go back to the effects section, I go to pitch correction stereo, and I have that there. That just kind of sets the audio so that it's, it's not necessarily like an auto-tune, but it just keeps it in tune, keeps my sax in tune with whatever song that I'm playing. That is basically it, guys. And then what I do do sometimes, like if I record and for some reason it's too low, I will just put the compressor, uh, com compressor on there and I'll turn it up here. Um, instead of turning it up too much on the actual audio box. So I would just do all of that here. And sometimes I'll add in a little echo depending on the song or whatever that I'm playing. If it wants a little echo in there, I'll just add a little echo in there. And that's what it looks like, guys. That is how I make my sex thing. So to end out this video, I'm going to show you guys how to save what I just did as a template. So that every time you go back into Logic, it automatically saves. So you're going to go up here to the top left where it says File. And around where it says Save, Save As, Save a Copy As. You're going to go Save As Template. And then you're just going to write in whatever you want the template to be saved as and hit Save. And that way, every time you open Logic, it will always pop up with these settings for you. I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching this video. And y'all have a good day.